evening. My name is Shulamit Ran, and I have the wonderful pleasure of being this year's composer in residence with Ravinia's Steens Music Institute. And I've lived in Chicago for a long time, and of course I'm well aware of the reputation of this fantastic program. But it takes being part of it in an active sense, as I have been, to realize how really splendid it is. This is a group of amazing young musicians. I know there's a big concert happening outside, but you are in the right place. <laughs> you came to the right place. <laughs> and it's been a real treat to work with the six musicians that are playing my lyre of Orpheus, which is a string quartet, a, a sextet, as you can see, two violins, two violas, and two cellos. And I want to tell you a little bit about how this ca work came to be, because I think it uh, affects the particular way in which I work things out in this piece. It was commissioned by a New York-based uh, ensemble called Concertante, which is a string sextet. And a few years ago, they had a project where they commissioned six different composers, each one of them assigned to have one of the players of the group being highlighted. And in my case, it was one of the two cellists. And so, as you will hear, the work is on the one hand chamber music, but in other ways, it is a kind of a cello concerto. But uh, everyone has very, very important things to say and the way in which they all combine and interrelate. For example, uh, the second cello um, tunes down from the, C, from the lowest note of the C string to the A below, which adds a few bass notes and that really alters the quality of sound in many ways and adds another dimension to, uh, to the sound as a whole. So the two cellos interact in all sorts of ways and at various times the second cello uh, will complete and bounce off lines that the first cello offers and at the same time provide that uh, lower part of the range. And each instrument has certain specific things that also keep changing and moving about where everyone uh, is in uh, the highlight at, at different times. Now by the title, Lyre of Orpheus. Of course, Lyre of Orpheus is a great and wonderful uh, iconic story from Greek mythology and a story that has inspired many works of art, uh, visual arts and opera and books and uh, songs uh, throughout the generations. Actually, at least at the uh, known conscious level, it did not inspire my work. The title came after the piece was all completed. There's always that stage in uh, every composition where the composer thinks, okay, now how am I going to call this piece? And usually for that, that comes for me about five, six of the way through the piece. That's when something, there's an image that comes to mind that I think to myself, okay, that captures something essential about the piece and that's what we'll call it. In this case, it was actually the entire piece was completed and I was com contemplating various titles and suddenly Lyre of Orpheus struck. And that's a very great tale, uh, the mythological figure of Orpheus, who was this incredible, legendary musician who uh, could uh, persuade anyone, or even stones, uh, with the beauty of uh, his music making and the story of him also trying to uh, retrieve his wife, Eurydice, uh, from the underworld. And he almost, almost makes it, he actually gets it out. But uh, he is told not to look back, to trust that she is behind him. And he looks back and he loses her. So it is love, uh, found love lost, and regained and lost again. Uh, a tragic story. And there's, uh, there's something about the song-like quality of the story, as well as its passion, its poignancy, that seemed to me to be uh, just the right title for the piece. And I hope you will agree. And it's so great, once again, to work with these six splendid musicians. Thank you very, very much.
Thank you. 